My one conspiracy theory is that her husband and best friend have a relationship and they got rid of her. That's not a very great theory. My second theory is maybe it was me. That's also not a great theory because it wasn't. So, yeah, let me, there's another video here. Hold on. Hello. Welcome back to Court Clips USA. I am Divinity and this video is about Christina Murphy. Christina Murphy went missing in July, July 22nd, 2024. The very next day, the sheriff's department located her vehicle in the river. Let me just read this to you. On July 23rd, Kern County Sheriff's Office search and rescue team responded to the Kern River near Highway 178 for a possible submerged vehicle. Search and rescue deployed a drone, cameras, and vessels to determine if there were any occupants in the vehicle. Due to clarity of water, unsafe water conditions, and high water level, search and rescue was unable to complete the recovery or determine if any occupants were in the vehicle. Search and rescue has been out to the location weekly to check the depth and flow of water, but cubic feet per second have been too high. Due to the dangerous conditions, the divers were not able to conduct a recovery mission. Search and rescue has been in regular contact with the watermaster from the Army Corps to monitor water levels until it's acceptable for a dive team to go in safely. Today, September 10th, 10, uh, 2024, search and rescue divers evaluated the vehicle and determined it is still too dangerous of a mission for our divers. As soon as conditions improve and waters can safe and divers can safely enter the water. Search and rescue will make efforts to recover the vehicle. This statement came out after Adventures with Purpose. You might know who Adventures with Purpose are. They are a dive team who does YouTube videos. Um, side story about uh, two years ago. He was <clears throat> arrested for this. I was trying to find an update to this story. Like, what happened to this dude? It says he tried to get this charges dismissed because the statute of limitations ran out, the victim consented, and the court can't try an adult for a crime committed as a juvenile. So he's accused of some really heinous stuff with somebody who may or may not be his cousin when they were 9 or 10 and he was 16 or 17. That's fucking disgusting. So that's Adventures of Purpose. They found Kylie Rodney's car and now they have found this car. What I find interesting is that this car wasn't missing. So they went out on September 10th and found the car. And if you were paying attention to this, she went missing on July 22nd, <clears throat> Christina Murphy. On July 23rd, Kern County Search and Rescue found her car. They've always known where her car was. They've just been waiting for the water to um, decrease the water flow, the water covering the vehicle, all the things, so they could get in there safely. Um, being from here, I don't know if I said that, but I'm from here. And we had a shitload of fires. So there was a lot of stuff going on since July. Um, that was making it impossible to be even in here, let alone pulling cars out. So there was a lot of water and there was a lot of arson happening. And it's still happening. This is the place where like two weeks ago, they found that guy setting fires and they arrested him. Like just driving along the lake, setting fires. What? A anyway, today I heard Adventures of Purpose went out and that the car was still out there. I was like, you know what? We should go out. We'll take the YouTubers with us. We'll do a live and we'll see what's up. And the husband was like, let's go tomorrow. And I, in my head, I was thinking, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because when I was in Georgia, I was like, I'm not going to see the Georgia Guidestones this time. I'll see them next time I show up. And then they got exploded and they're gone. They're just gone. So I kind of knew better than to be like, yeah. I'll wait for another day because what do I know about tomorrow? And so I decided I'm going to look for information on Christina Murphy since I'm going to go up tomorrow and, you know, 
put my nose in her business. And spoiler alert, while I was doing that, I found out that her car was pulled out. I'm like, son of a, of course it was. So I don't get to go look at her car submerged and give you any kind of clue about what that looked like. There are other videos who did that. Um, but isn't that just something? More of the stories. Don't wait until tomorrow because everything's happening today. Um, okay, so I told you that she was missing July 22nd. Um, they actually found parts of her car that evening. So I don't know how parts of her car got missing. I do find that interesting. Like, why did they find her license plate and a piece of her car? Like, up on the road or the bridge, if her car ends up being in the bottom of the river. Like, what? That makes uh, no sense. And when Adventure with Purpose went in, they said that all of the windows were blown out. So it's like, what? Does that, I don't know if, like, hitting the water like that would, like, like a belly flop, would that bust out your windows? I don't feel like it would. But I don't know. Maybe that's what happened. Um, but my point is, Adventures of Purpose didn't find her, her car first. They didn't find her body. It sounds like they didn't even look. A guy went out today, a French guy, and he looked under the car and in the car and said her body wasn't in the car. So I, this is the first article I read. Friend of Christina Murphy says viral video by Adventures with Purpose has brought family more pain. I was like, oh shit, that's interesting. So I'm reading it, and this girl's name is Alicia. She's friends with her for 26 years. She says the <clears throat> says a video by private te dive team Adventures with Purpose did not tell the full story and featured inaccuracies. I was like, oh, very interesting. This was written yesterday from Corey O'Leary at turn23.com. Lake Isabella, after a viral video claimed law enforcement wasn't doing enough to remove a submerged vehicle owned by missing person Christina Murphy, many residents reached out to ABC saying they believed the situation was unjust. However, a lifelong friend and two family members of Murphy say that video didn't tell the full story and has brought them more pain. Adventures with Purpose, live streamed a video, we already talked about that, she went missing on the 22nd. This man says, or this person says, I met with Christina, friend for, I met with Christina's friend, Alicia, while she took a break during her shift as a nurse in Richcrest Regional. She told me she used to work with Murphy. She said she has children. She was the best. She was funny. Ernst said, it's made more people aware of Murphy who hadn't been seen since July 22nd, but said that it had a negative effect on close friends and family members. Ernst says she has seen those online she has seen those online incorrectly speculate on what happened to Murphy. Privacy was important. Her children's privacy was important. I'm like, oh dang, okay. So I start thinking to myself, all right, I'm probably not gonna go up there and put myself in their business. In the video, AWP said that the Kern County Sheriff was well, the worst. Ernst says the family has been aware of the situation and understand it's a process that should be done safely. The biggest frustration with all this is that she is a person that would have never wanted to put someone else in danger. That guy made it seem like there was no danger. There absolutely is. So the adventures with purpose guy, I guess he was making it seem like the carnivore isn't dangerous or the water wasn't bad or unsafe. <clears throat> And maybe well, they were having a nice day on whatever day dude came out and just and took a dive. But regardless, she said the Murphy's mother and fiance did not want the dive team there. Ernst was the one who responded to AWP when they reached out to her. I said, it's under control. They have a plan in place. We are waiting for the water levels to drop. Everything is handled. Everything is fine. The dive team still showed up and the videos... It, in the video, Adventures with Purpose made false claims about the father of Murphy's children who works for law enforcement. I guess he said, quote, Josh, get down here because you know who you are. You work for the sheriff's office and you have the ability to expedite this. The girl says, you can't insert yourself into an investigation, especially when it's someone that's next of kin. It was completely uncalled for and now it's turned into this big dramatic thing online that is now destroying the mental well-being of her children. I spoke with Murphy's mother and her brother over the phone and they confirmed what she had told them. 
Okay. So the fact that Adventure with Purpose went out, looked for the body or looked for the car and called out the sheriff's department for not yanking the car and called out who they thought was her fiance called who that they thought was Josh that that is somehow has destroyed the mental well-being of her children she wants you to know that this is privacy is important she said somewhere in here if you had to say something to these people online who didn't know Christina Murphy but think they are advocating for her do you have a message for those people? And she said, stop. It's not your business. And you don't have a soundbite in this. This is her life. This is her children. Memories that you are messing with. What she's going to tell us next makes everything she said make zero sense. She then tells us that her story as to why she's sitting at the bottom of the river is because of alcoholism. And with her being an ER nurse, we're expected to go from trauma to trauma to trauma. And we don't have any sort of training to learn to cope with these things. She tells the story behind Murphy's struggles with mental health and substance abuse, which she believes led to the accident that ended with Murphy's car in the river. I'm sorry, what? You didn't want anyone to know her business. You don't want to be smart her memory. This is no one's stuff. No one gets the last sound bite. And here you are, supposedly her best friend, telling us the reason that she's, this is very crassly put, her story as to why she's sitting at the bottom of the river what who says it like that that's fucking wild is alcoholism she has mental problems substance abuse problems like okay i wasn't thinking any of that stuff first of all i did see some pictures i'll show you i showed you this one here's another picture of her fishing like she looks like a completely normal person i would have never thought she struggled with those things for her best friend to be the one that puts that on wax it's like what the fuck i thought you didn't want to be smart her memory very bizarre. So I'm like, okay. She says that the mother and the fiance also didn't want AWP there. And it sounds like that's true. And then I saw a story that had a quote from her brother. And her brother said, kind of wild. I find myself watching a YouTube video about my own sister. But I will say, even though I haven't talked to Josh in a while, I'm pretty sure he left the sheriff's office a while ago. And when he requested them to tow it out, they told them that they couldn't because of the fires that had been going on. But I will say we have had little to no information regarding my sister. My mother and other siblings have been wondering what's going on. Thanks for the update. What? First of all, you don't talk to Josh very often. I, I haven't talked to Josh in a while. I'm pretty sure he left the sheriff's office. So first of all, this is her brother who doesn't know where her his sister's fiance works. So they're not close or something's happening here. But he's a close friend and or family member who's like, I don't even, we don't even know what's going on with my sister. So imagine your sister disappears one day. That's what this is. This is someone has gone away. They disappeared. Her car was found the next day. And 55 days later, today, they pulled her car out and she's not in it. She's not in the river. Like, where is she? The best friend said, stop looking. The brother is like, I'm glad somebody's doing something. Let's see. You know what else was weird? Let me show you something else. What we know so far, this was written the day after AWP. It says, friends and family of missing Christina Murphy have been putting efforts into finding her. Her vehicle has been found near the Kern River. In this story, it says four of her friends, I believe, found out that they were AWP was looking at the car. So they went out to see if maybe she would be pulled up. And the sheriff's office came out and... Then they ended up leaving. Do I have this somewhere? They ended up leaving and they were like, what the hell? We thought they were going to pull the car out and they didn't. And then that's when they came out with this. This release after they left that day. But point being, her friends were there that day going, we want answers. But her bestie supposedly 
Alicia is like, stop looking for her. It was an accident. She's at the bottom of the river because she's an alcoholic with mental issues. I'm like, what? And the Josh, the fiance, clearly isn't communicating with her family. They don't even know where he works or if he's called off the dogs. But girlfriend is not girlfriend. Alicia is saying, you know, leave, leave Josh alone. She's like, Every, you can't just insert yourself into an investigation. Wait, the fuck you can't, especially if you know law enforcement, especially if you are the husband slash fiance. Like, yeah, the fuck you can. My husband's in the water and they I'm just going to figure out how to go down there every single day to figure out. I'm going to hire AWP to go dive on the car to find out if she's he's in there. Right? Anyways. I have a terrible bad gut feeling about Alicia. And it's so fucked up because I started my adventure with a purpose. I was going to give some information to the public about this missing person. And then I found out that her family didn't want me to. And so I was like, okay, definitely not going to do that. I'm going to show some respect for this person instead. And all said and done, ba <laughs> this person who was about to get me to yield and almost chastise the rest of the people involved in this has now made me think that they're a suspect. Isn't it weird how the mind works? It's like, why are you trying to stop people looking for someone you just told me was your best friend? Listen, don't become friends with me if you think that I'm going to let your car just be at the bottom of the river and I'm not going to fucking raise absolute hell. Don't be friends with me. I'm going to be, I'm going to embarrass you in death. That's something you're not into. This is the area. It is, you know what's weird? Okay, so I have, see this rock? I think it's this rock right here. But I was, I have another channel and on that channel we do RCs and I was at this place. As a matter of fact, hold on. Okay. So we were at this, basically this exact spot climbing the Kern River. What if we had found a car? So what, like I said, Alicia did it, but you guys don't know. I I was there too. I was there actually in like May or June. So it turns out I couldn't have been the one who did this, but you never know. This is the mighty Kern River. It is no joke. So there's an overpass here that has a um, Clint Eastwood on it. That's where they're at. My one conspiracy theory is that her husband and best friend have a relationship and they got rid of her. That's not a very great theory. My second theory is maybe it was me. That's also not a great theory because it wasn't. So, yeah, let me, there's another video here. Hold on. That first one was Bob. This is Pepe. Pepe is trying to do it with a GoPro on his, for a hat. Um, But I think... This doesn't look as hard as it is, but we knew for sure one wrong move and we were never getting the cars back because, well, because the Christina Murphy story <laughs> is real. See how he puts his foot there? He's like, don't fall in. If you fall into the Kern River, you're not getting out. And that's the same for little cars and big cars. I also want to just see if it's not as easy as Pepe just made that look. I was hoping to see like the river or Clint Eastwood. We're just going to play this a little bit further. And so that bitch, oh, sorry. So Alicia said that we weren't going to get the last sound bite. Challenge accepted, Alicia. It just, it never made sense to me. I don't know. I had a really bad gut feeling. It never made sense. 